Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis. I was doing a new technique with the acrylic paints and you will see as you look at this video that um, what I started with is totally opposite from what I finished with. But I would really like you to take the time to watch the whole video because as you go through it, you will see there are many, many times that I could have stopped and had a nice painting. Here I kept on going. Um, at some point I was thinking this is really ugly, but what it turned out to be was a rather interesting piece of work. Certainly not like my style, but it had my paintbrush moving fast and just watching the colors evolve. So please watch this whole video through if you have the time because you will find it quite interesting. And what I would really like you to do is if there's a point in the video when this piece is evolving, look at the time on the clock and then just put what time it was that you thought I should have stopped the painting. I'd like to see how many people will actually um, take the time to analyze what's happening with the work as it progresses. And uh, have some fun painting when you have no idea where you're going with it. Um, the painting that I finished called The Last Maple Key actually is sitting here on the table. When we started that painting I was using this new technique and it didn't work out. I didn't like how the colors worked so I took a brush and blended all the colors together and created a different painting out of it. So today I'm going to try again using a different method. The method that one had was taking the paint right out of the tube and it was just far too dense. So I've taken a container here and put a little bit of water in each of these little cups and I've got some of these coffee stir sticks and I'm going to just thin the paint down a wee bit in order to make it more not so not so intense. I've, I've mixed these paints now with a little bit of water and I learned something from the last time that I had put the dark too many dark paints on and I should have put more lights on so that when the darks blend with it. I've put a variation of reds, oranges and yellows because I think they look nice and I've got a dark ultramarine blue here to punch in some of the dark tones and I'm going to see if I can do it by putting some of the paint on with a stick and I'm going to just try and make sure that I don't have a line dead center vertically or dead center horizontally. horizontally. Now that looks like it's got way too much water in it for the amount of paint.
please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.